Um, so I want to uh, pivot from that into um, the actual work of doing things like asset visibility and vulnerability detection as, uh, you know, as someone who might be entering the the, the industry now. Um, will this re directive require a new set of security professionals who have this type of experience to fill in emerging job roles? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think one of the failures in the industry, especially on the vendor side, is literally understanding the difference between the risk that is coming from hardware to the risk that is coming from software. And mm -hmm. some, and especially the difference between, let's call it the soft IT world and the hard infrastructure world. And, yep. and because of that, we see, and, and again, I'm talking on behalf of myself and Sepio, you know, I, I sure. think I know what I'm talking about, but some people may think I'm think different is that generally speaking, uh, some technologies, and I'm not going to mention names of vendors, but some technologies today are trying to apply kind of the software way of mapping and understanding the risk on hardware. And mm -hmm. it's not efficient, it's not scalable. And again, talking on my behalf, not, uh, not scalable enough and not accurate enough. Uh, and because of that, and I can give a couple of technology examples, uh, and because of that, uh, the lack of uh, solutions is not based on someone being lazy or someone being not smart. It is mm -hmm. based on experience. It is based on skill set. And it goes back to your question, and then I'll give the, uh, the example. Sure. Uh, it, it goes to the fact that it's totally different skill set. It's not the direct path from IT to cybersecurity or from software to that, it requires understanding in physics, it requires understanding in electronics, it is deep, deep, deep understanding in, in how what we all know as Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and all of that works underneath the hood, because otherwise uh, it's not going to change enough. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, many, many technologies today in 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 mapping uh, in in the game of mapping hardware are based on a uh, traffic monitoring. Uh, eventually, it's a new generation of IDS, uh, which mm -hmm. is a you know great idea. The problem is with that is it is limited by the amount of resources you can dedicate for that. Uh, and big agencies will have so much traffic running on the network. So mapping all of that traffic is a big issue. Yep. There are other side effects to that. Uh, some traffic may be encrypted. So you know, breaking that encryption is another issue. Compliance and running through a third party uh, uh, sensitive information is another risk factor. We have all seen what happens in, uh, in some incidents uh, with, uh, with that, related to that. So uh, I know what we're doing in Sepio, but uh, in, in generally speaking, uh, I keep telling the story that uh, imagine a, a dark wind, a dark room, uh, you don't see anyone. And what is an idea? So you sit there, put a microphone and start to analyze who's speaking to whom. And based on that, hey, Yossi is speaking to Chris. Uh, Yossi is mm -hmm. in the room and Chris is in the room. But if mm -hmm. Yossi is sitting quietly and not suing, uh, saying anything, Yossi is still in the room still brings risk, but he's not saying anything. Yeah. And 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 this is a, a significant fault of uh, traffic and, and activity monitoring versus the fact that I believe uh, that hardware identification should be based on eventually you put your hand on the desk, you are there. So if a device, a device has any sort of connectivity, it's there. And you need to discover that connectivity and not mm -hmm. the activity. Right. And, and, and that's a, a great example. So unfortunately, not enough people are a, have the right skill set for a, being involved in such. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.